shall we? I just loved playing music and playing guitar and singing more than anything else. I'll be sitting in front of the TV watching a show with a guitar, just strumming and picking or practicing, you know, always playing, always trying to get better. What they're going to hear is, is who I am. And I think that that's why it was very important you know, to have the right musicians and you know, to have the right producer to help create that sound that, that I want people to hear. The first time that I saw him play, probably 10 years ago, um, I knew that he was special. I've recorded a lot of young bands, and not that you can't record a young band and have great success, but Noah's talent is really like a 50-year-old man that's been doing it for 30 years. I always want the best for my music, and I want it to sound the best, I want it to, I want it to make sense, and that's what Don helped me do, you know, he, he helped me make the songs make, make more sense, you know, it was amazing, he understood exactly the type of sound I was trying to get from the moment he heard the songs, which allowed him to put together an incredible team of musicians. You know, Kenny Aronoff, who in my personal opinion is the best drummer in the world right now. Um, Chris Chaney, who's an absolute monster on the bass. And uh, Frank Rosado, the engineer. His help, you know, in structuring the song and recording, you know, really made a difference. And Tim Pierce, incredible. His guitar playing was phenomenal. And it really changed the songs for the better. We want to share the love with you guitar teacher of 10 years, Javier Guitarez, played with me on my first EP. It was really amazing, you know. He was there, you know, when I first written the songs, and he was the first person that I played them to. And, uh, you know, it's really been amazing having that same person who was there at the beginning here now, once it's been recorded, and we've gone through the whole recording process, and it's really special. Places we've grown all of a sudden fall. We live in a beautiful world It was just totally immediate that he uh, had that spark that comes from inside and, uh, and that he was an amazing singer. His voice just blew me away. I was in New York with my dad, and uh, we just seen one of my favorite bands, Phoenix, at Lollapalooza. And I was really inspired by them at the time. Their guitar tones, the heavy beat of the drums, everything about them was just so cool and new to me. You know, and I, I was really trying to write a song like them, and uh, the Haley came out. My brain started working and thinking, well, this sounds like a hit, or uh, does this have all the legs that I need to work with? and then realizing that the depth of writing was complete. You know, I've written so many songs trying to get that type of song, and eventually, once you've played, you know, different progressions and experimented enough with different chords and messed with the tunings a hundred times, you get that sound, and that's it. You know, I think I'm just drawn to it more, and it's something that I can connect with. I think that's why it's something that I have to do by myself. <laughs>